there's no question we shouldn't answer because if it's asked, it's important. I'm Patrick Oma. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic and Sports Institute of the Fox Valley. I'm originally from La Crosse, Wisconsin. And when I finished training, I went to medical school at Medical College of Wisconsin, residency at Indiana University, then I did a sports medicine fellowship with um, the famous Dr. James Andrews and Dr. William Clancy. We're drawn to Wisconsin because my parents live in the area and my in-laws do as well. My in-laws are dairy farmers, my parents are retired, and my wife and I have three children. What brought me to OSI is there's the best collection of outstanding orthopedic surgeons in Northeast Wisconsin. And combine that with the state-of-the-art facility that they have, it was a no-brainer to join Orthopedic and Sports Institute of the Fox Valley. Being part of OSI allows me to provide better care for my patients because they have a very comprehensive program of patient education. The staff is really hands-on in providing patients with the up-to-date information and they're very good at answering all the questions that may arise in the pre-surgical, surgical, and post-surgical period. It can be a very confusing time for patients, but with our hands-on approach, it really makes it a lot easier for the patient. It's not intimidating like it would be going to a hospital and having to take an elevator up five floors and walk by five nurses stations. It's not like that at all. It's an outpatient operation and he goes to the recovery in and it's just much more manageable, much more approachable. It's just a patient and family friendly place. One of the biggest decisions we make as people is, do I trust this person to do an operation on me and provide that high quality care? As much as the surgery has an impact on things, it's more important how the patient and I interact afterwards because we're gonna be dealing with each other for six months. We sure better get along, have a great rapport, and I better always be there when they have a need. Communication's key, you always have to make sure every question's answered. You have to make sure that the patient has a full understanding of every step along the way. So if we give patients that information ahead of time, of course, that helps relieve some anxiety of having an operation. There's no question we shouldn't answer because if it's asked, it's important. What I really love is I go to the grocery store and I'll see people that I've seen in clinic or I've operated on and they'll come up to me and say, hey, Dr. Oldma, thank you so much. I've really got my quality of life back. And that's really a special thing. The ability to have a positive impact on people's quality of life when they're struggling and bring them out of that into a better phase in life is really powerful. And it just really warms my heart. It's a great feeling. I probably fell in love with orthopedic surgery because I saw how I could have a positive impact on people's quality of life. Combined with the fact that I was always incredibly gifted surgically, it involves a really high skill level with your hands. It involves a high level of thinking what you're doing now, but then anticipating two or three steps ahead. You have to be able to work efficiently, but not hurried because you wanna do the operation in a shorter period of time to reduce complications. I need to take that seriously. I need to answer every single question. I need to take extra time to do that, make sure everything is understood and repeated, and that the patient ultimately feels very comfortable trusting me with their quality of life.